Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Greece rejects EU plan to sell assets through overseas agency. EU civil protection mechanism supports Portugal in fighting forest fires. Merkel is EU's big weakness. Catalans form a 400 kilometer human chain in independence push from Spain. Plus, Jose Manuel Barroso, UKIP will beat Tories to become first force in British politics. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Greece dismissed a proposal by Eurozone officials to hand over the management of its real estate assets to a holding company based overseas, saying on Saturday the country would stay in charge of its privatisation programme. The Eurozone bailout fund, the European Stability Mechanism, proposed that some Greek real estate assets be transferred to a Greek-owned holding company outside of Greece, run by foreign experts, to accelerate the country's flagging privatisations. Well, this is a step in the right direction for Greece, because you can bet that the foreign holding company is controlled or linked to the global banking cartel, and the Greek assets would be flogged off in a fire sale. The politicians are still not gaining enough free movement inside the death grip of Europe, and what is really needed for Greece is a currency devaluation. Whilst that is not possible, then the Greeks will continue to suffer. The European Commission is supporting efforts to tackle a number of forest fires raging in northern and central Portugal. In response to a request for assistance by authorities in Lisbon, the European Commission's Emergency Response Centre is facilitating the provision of additional aircraft to help extinguish the fires. Croatia is sending two firefighting aircraft through the EU Civil Protection Mechanism. France will refuel the aircraft during their journey. Currently there are 11 active forest fires in Portugal, six of them very serious. Five firefighters have been killed fighting them since the beginning of the month. The EU Civil Protection Mechanism facilitates the cooperation in disaster response among 32 European states. The participating countries pool their resources, which can be made available to disaster-stricken countries all over the world. The head of one of Europe's fastest growing banks has launched a damning attack on Angela Merkel ahead of the German elections later this month. Lars Seer Christiansen, the chief executive of Saxo Bank, which provides Barclays with white label products here in the UK, described Germany's Chancellor as Europe's Achilles heel. He warned that her lack of vision was damaging the continent's economy. Miss Merkel has said nine to centralised European economic governance, nine to permanent bailout mechanism, and nine to the idea of the euro bond, which she called economically wrong and counterproductive. <music> Hundreds of thousands of Catalans held hands in a 400 kilometer human chain across their region on Wednesday to press the Spanish government to let them vote on breaking away and forming their own country. Demonstrators in yellow t-shirts and draped in blue, red and yellow, separatist banners raised their joined hands through cities and along rural roads, jumping and shouting in celebration when the chain was completed. We want a referendum to see whether there's majority support for independence. The problem is Spain won't listen. So whether the Eurocrats like it or not, the EU is starting to come apart at the seams. The choices seem stark. Either the people accept full integration into a European federal superstate, or they break away and go back to independent nation states. UKIP will become the first force in British elections because voters will prefer the real Euroscepticism of Nigel Farage to the copycat conservative imitation of it the European Commission president has said. Using provocative language, Jose Manuel Barroso, the head of the European Union's executive, strongly implied that David Cameron's Euroscepticism is fake while UKIP's is the genuine article. 
Your party is looking like UKIP. I have some doubts whether you are going to be elected in Britain, or if it is not UKIP that will be the first force in British elections, he told MEPs. Today in our video library, well, well, first they ignore you, then they ridicule you, and then you win. In this video, Nigel Farage, leader of the UK Independence Party, provides strong redress to Manuel Barroso's State of the Union address. In his one minute, Mr Farage unleashes a torade on economic policy, democracy and climate change. It's worth noting that whilst Mr Farage stands and directly accuses the Parliament of being unelected and undemocratic, no one, no one, stands up to argue that point. Mr Barroso clearly gets rattled and you can see that he is very upset. But why? If the writing is not on the wall for the EU and the Euro, then why would Mr Barroso appear so rattled? Friends, the wheels are coming off the cart. The southern member states are decimated. The economic policies have completely failed, just as we said that they would. Back in May, I stated on record in this show that the bailouts were far from done and the policy of increasing debt via the bailout was ludicrous. Well, the papers and the media are already reporting that even after a third bailout, Greece will require more money in 2014. Spain is close to its next round of funding. Portugal is fighting with public finances to avoid a bailout. And, if you remember, my prediction was for Ireland to return to Mr Draghi's table, squeaking, Please, sir, may I have some more, sir? Well, folks, it's all happening. Mr Barroso is afraid. He attacks Mr Farage personally. He blames Farage for the rise of UKIP in Britain. Well, we do not. The people in Britain are tired of immigration, tired of regulation, tired of austerity, tired of bureaucracy and tired of totalitarianism and tired of a system that wields control over all aspects of their lives. We were told this was an economic market, a trading bloc, but what has happened is the creation of a super state which has nullified our own parliament and taken control by stealth. We in Britain have been consistently lied to and whatever you might say about the British, we don't like being conned. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit, Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>